Welcome to a tutorial video on how to connect the Pidion BR500 Bluetooth scanner to an Apple iPad. Please ensure that you've downloaded the BR500 setup sheets from the Warp Systems FAQ section which can be found at our website at www.warp.com.au. These will be required to finish the setup of the device. So let's begin. The first thing to do with your BR500 scanner is to ensure that it's set to its factory default settings. To do this, we need to hold down the left arrow key and the center key at the same time and hold them there as such. Then press and release the reset key while still holding down the buttons until we hear a beep. When you hear a beep, you can release the keys. The next step in the process is to press the center button twice to ensure that the LED on the left of the screen is colored purple. And then press the down arrow key to light up the blue LED on the right and to reboot the device. The reboot will take a few moments, but you'll see uh, when the screen pops up, you'll know when the device is rebooted. You'll have the menu on the BI500 device. There we go, we got the menu back. The next step is to power down the device. Using the menu that you see on the screen, use the down arrow to scroll down to the power off. Use the center key to select this, and the left key to select yes from the menu to power it off. You'll hear a beep and the device is now powered off. The next step is to reboot the device. To do this, to turn the device on, all you have to do is hold down the left arrow key for a few moments until you, until you hear a beep. You can release when you hear that beep, and you'll get the menu back up on your barcode scanner. What we're now ready to do is choose the Bluetooth mode for the device. This is the first step where you'll need your BI500 setup sheets that you've downloaded earlier. Now, all we have to do to set up the HID mode, which is the Bluetooth mode required for Apple devices, is just select the central button and choose Scan Barcode. And on your setup sheets, just scan the Bluetooth HID barcode. As soon as you do this, the device will power down again as it's um, set up the HID mode for Bluetooth for the Pidion 500. And just, again, as before, to power the device back up, just to press the left arrow key until you hear a beep as before. As soon as that beep comes back up, you'll hear it, and it'll go back into the um, BI500 menu as it did before. At this point, we need to go to the iPad 2 to, just to ensure that, um, all the settings on the iPad uh, set up to communicate with the PDM. To do this on your iPad 2, just go to the settings section on your iPad, choose the general settings, and go to Bluetooth. Just ensure that your Bluetooth is on. If it's off, just switch it to on. And when it's on, you'll see that it'll find a list of devices underneath. At the top of the list there is the BI500 device, which is recognised. And whilst it's recognised, we still have to pair to the device. This is the second part where the um, setup sheets um, come into play. When you press the BI500 to select it and connect to it, a small win window will come up with a four-digit pin code that you need to enter to, to the device to pair it with your iPad. On the setup guides that you've downloaded, you'll see a set of numbers with barcodes next to them. All you have to do is just, for, the, for each number in your four-digit pin, is just scan, that, scan the barcode and then at the end of the four numbers, scan end to enter the barcode and pair the device. So we'll just do that now. We'll select BI500, and it'll tell us our pin number is 2536. So we'll scan 2536, and the end barcode to pair it up. What you'll see now on the screen is that your BI500 is connected. So we've successfully paired the BI500 to the iPad. Now we can exit this setup screen and just go to the notes section on your iPad. Set up a new session. 
What we'll do is just grab any uh, barcode that you may have around you if you want to just have a test that we have here. And then just select scan barcode from the menu and you can select start scanning barcodes into the notepad section or any other app that you may have available to you on your iPad. So that's it. That's um, how you set up the BI500 to communicate via Bluetooth with your iPad. Um, if you have any further questions or want to look at any other of Warp's other products, please go to www.warp.com.au and uh, we'll be able to help you out from there. Thanks very much. Bye.